What's going on guys, Marty here with another one of these medieval previews. The way these go, I hear about medieval game in development or someone in the Discord will recommend one. I turn on the camera and we just learn about it together. So yeah, link to the Discord as always down below. Everyone's welcome. We've got a good community there of people who love medieval games. We play loads of different stuff together and we just chat about, you know, what's coming out, what we're playing, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, seeing a few people come through from YouTube and it's nice to, uh, nice to chat to you guys. So, uh, very welcome. So today we're looking at a game called Odin Valhalla Rising. All I know about this game, it's a Viking themed MMO that's uh, Korean. That's it. So let's learn about the game together. So if we go onto the website, we've got this uh, interesting cinematic playing in the background. We'll head down to the bottom because they've got some trailers. So let's start here with the reveal trailer, I guess. Obviously in Korean, so... Okay. Hopefully the sound's not too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. They're giants. Okay. Not gonna pause it too much, but I'm guessing fire, grass, uh some sort of faction, I think. That's, that'd be my guess. They look like elves. Ice. And that's Odin, I'm guessing. One eye. So I'm guessing these are like the different realms. Um, hopefully they'd be like factions that you can travel to or maybe there'll be like factions you can play as who knows um there's i don't know which of these are going to be worth watching because if there's any any language we're not going to be able any like speaking we're not going to be able to understand it odin trailer new reveal 4k are we in 4k we are now English. That very night, after burying my three offspring, as my passing sorrow ends, the flames of fury tear at my soul. Okay. let's just put one thing out there. They can make a damn good cinematic trailer. Um, whether the gameplay looks like RuneScape, they can make a good trailer. Okay. Lord of the Rings vibes. Okay. Odin, Loki, and the myth created by you. Odin Valhalla Rising. Okay, that looks amazing. Um, that that scene there from a distance looked like Lord of the Rings, and then as they like pan down, it gave me um three hundred vibes. You know, I don't know the name of the guy, but you know the dude with all the uh, jewelry, who's like being carried through the battlefield with all the like um with all his minions it gave me those vibes that trailer i still know nothing about the game um but yeah i guess it looks cool so there's a there's class class gameplay let's watch that so i'm guessing four classes which we just saw in the uh Tab targeting or action combat? Who knows? Hey, look, graphics are good. Stop. 
Okay. I mean, we can we can say we can say two things about Korean MMOs. They make stunning gameplay, and they can monetize the hell out of a cash shop. So let's enjoy the gameplay for now. Sorcerer looked a bit flat for me. Warrior. I mean, it's not it's not Black Desert, is it? It's uh. It looks like click to move. I'm really not sure though. Cool abilities. Mm. It looks it looks click to move with like uh keys on the hotbar. That's they're the vibes I'm getting from that, but I mean maybe we'll find out. So far Warrior looks coolest to me. Are these playing on like HD, yeah. This is a priest, this is a priest. Okay, that's really, really, really looking good. <laughs> the magic looks amazing. Great graphics, great quality, and it's it looks stunning. But it doesn't look fun. She just stands there casting spells. Um, let's see the rogue. The, the, let's give it time to buffer, to... Uh, get itself into HD or whatever quality. Apologies for the scuffed uh, scuffed settings here. Um, yeah, the warrior melee look like looks the best so far. Okay. Okay, so I'm playing a rogue. This is the best by far. A dodo, extinct. Okay, so one thing about the combat, from my thoughts, it looks very static. It looks very, you stand there and smash your abilities, um, but who knows, they're the four classes. Do we wanna watch another trailer? This one's not English dubbed. No, I think, I think we've seen enough trailers. This is not English dubbed. Okay, so. Uh, developed by Lionheart Studios. I know nothing about them. And the website's in Korean. You can translate to English. Uh, does not translate everything. Innovate, passion, reward. And this is their only game? Yeah, okay, that's their only game then. So yeah, nothing to, nothing to learn from this, from this little um, adventure. Worlds, okay, yeah, we were right. Midgard, Jotunheim, Nidavalir, Ice Giants, and Alfheim. Those names, I mean, those three names, very familiar from playing, you know, video games. But I'm hoping that this is more than just place you travel. I really hope that they let you pick the faction. I'd love to make like a Ice Giant Warrior. That'd be sick. Okay, here's the classes. Warrior, I think... The warrior and the rogue are by far my favorite. I'm not feeling the magic users right now. Um, gameplay and more game details. I think we'll we'll go there, and then we'll open that as well. So, I guess you want to learn about the game. Is this going to give us? Uh, I, I can't do any more trailers. I'm sorry. Each territory has its uh, has its disposal. Interesting NPCs, monsters, bosses, cities. It's not yet known if there are plans to add locations based on other worlds, but they'll most likely appear. Okay. Discussed. The authors then discussed in-game lighting. Yeah, we don't care about lighting. Uh, class information. Four classes that were shown in the game. Um, the warrior will have a crude design with an emphasis on weight. The sorceress will be sexy. This can't be their official website. What? The rogue will be a handsome fire. This has been translated wrong for sure. And the priestess will be cute and modest with a touch of charm. This is this is a translation error. This can't be how they've how they've described the classes on their website. Between classes, a balance and well-developed roles are promised. Motion capture and 3D reading technologies will be used to create models of characters, monsters, and numerous animations and costumes. I mean, you can tell that this is a very, very 
money has been dropped on this game. Someone splashed the cash and made sure this is the highest quality. Um, can we see anything about the, the classes? They're not giving much away on their website unless I'm just in the wrong place. That was supposed to be a trailer and class information. New details. Today on the 8th of February held its conference. We just want to get into the, the meat and potatoes really, don't we? Q2, Odin is coming out domestically. So is that does that mean Odin is coming out in Q2 in Korea? Um, Soon we'll have the opportunity to show you very specific features of the game, but you would know this title is based in Nordic mythology, offers a very strong story. As a game universe, we think that's going to work very big. Yeah, I, I love Norse mythology. If you look at the capabilities, the Lionheart dev team, they both offer high level of graphic and action, gameplay characteristics, which is rarely present in current MMOs. Kind of is, kind of a lot of good action combat games at the moment. For the end game content, it's PvP. We'll announce more details in the near future. Big fan of PvP games, for sure. Q4, it comes out in Taiwan. What about, what about Europe? What about Europe and the US and all the other countries that love these MMOs? Um, as of this moment, it seems we aren't gonna get our hands on it, game in our markets, but as always, we'll find a way to try the game in other markets. On the other hand, if you're looking forward to play Elyon, uh, yeah, yeah, another one of Kakao's games, many MMOs, um, I don't wanna check that trailer. So we've gone on the news section and I st I, I'm none the wiser, really. I don't know about you guys. Uh, new images of different races is there. There's not much. There's, there's not much they're giving away. This is where we learn about the MMO. We're not learning much. 15 new... We got screenshots. I thought there'd be, like, raw gameplay available. I like, gameplay footage. Okay, so... Are these races? Uh, 15 new screenshots are available. Different races. Humans, giants, and dwarfs. It's worth pointing out the developers are constantly striving for the scale of the future... Novelties, therefore, to demonstrate how high or low creatures are. They always put a perspective by their side. Banana for scale. Yep. Odin is a multi-platform MMO. Multi-platform? Does that mean it's going to be on phones? No. I really hope this doesn't come out on phones. Just because oh, it just screams cash shop. And it just screams reduced quality, in my opinion. That's just me. That's just me. I'm very anti-phone games like phone games are good for when your clash of clans is a great example but an mmo I, I like it on the pc maybe consoles if you want so yeah humans we know what humans are giants they looked sick it's i'm shocked at how big they are I, they definitely won't be playable characters like you can't have that as a playable race and be like five times the size of other people surely they've got to be like npcs and bosses yeah yeah 100 percent Dwarves, I guess, in, are these really small? Yeah, they, they were the ones with the dog. They look like the guys from uh, Star Wars. Okay, so we've got some pretty cool races. I like that. But again, we are none the wiser. Does this come out on a phone? So I've kind of hit the, the end of what I can find on the website. So then I went to the Discord and found there's a... Korean version of the website. So I've now gone on the Korean website, which, uh, yeah, this is the Korean version of the website. And on the Korean website, you can pre-register for the game. So no idea what all this means. I'm guessing this is like pre-registration bonuses because it looks like you get some cool shit. Uh, register, register. So I've got Google Translate working and I can translate this into English now. Um, yeah, so you can register from the 28th, which was like four days ago from recording this video, three days ago, four days ago. Uh, and these are pre-advanced registration benefits, uh, some accessory, a box with stuff, um, and then something extra, a, a tier emoticon. If you advance, if you register through Kakao. So you can register with your phone number or you can register through Kakao Games. Um, yep. Yep. There it is. There it is. There it is. 
It's coming out on phones as well. I, I can't see how this would work. I mean, actually, I say that. When you look at it, it looked very static, very point to move. Um, maybe this would be great on a phone. I can't see how these... I, I, if, it's a, if it's exactly the same as the phone version, it just feels like you're playing a really like dumbed down version of the game on the PC. Who knows? I, I don't want to judge. I can't say I've played any MMOs on my phone, so maybe, it, maybe it'll be incredible. Maybe it'll be amazing. But it's coming out on iPad, uh, Android and uh, Apple. So, yeah. So, that's how you register. I'm probably going to have a look at this. I might register myself uh, if it's not too too complex. What else have we got going on here? Odin's Invite a Friend event. So, if you invite three people, you get a power supply. Five people, you get three of them. Ten people, you get five of them. A lottery if you invite ten people, maybe. 3060 laptop. Cool. So there's 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 a pre-register and a invite a friend, official channel support by joining the channel. Various benefits are available to you. I've got no idea what that is. Blasphemy test. I'm not going to pretend to understand what this is. I've been a, a part of a lot of alphas and betas. And yeah, I'm probably going to have to log into make a account or game account to see all this um okay we get a lot more on this website than on the uh the english one here we go so now we're now we're learning about the game lot unreal engine 4 graphics motion capture 3d scan yeah we saw all that um mmo that supports convenient operation and the best graphic resolution beyond the limits of mobile devices yeah yeah yeah, cash shop. Highly competitive worldview that perfectly embodies the fantasy of the Northern European mythology and imagination, including the huge world races and monsters in the Nordic myth. The graphics and the characters are stunning. You've got to give them that. Sorceress. Yeah, so we learn a lot here, a lot. I mean, <laughs> I say that just as we get hit with a big old page of Korean. We've watched that video. Uh, magic wide area control. So she's basically a wizard, right? Uh... Is the warrior, the beefy boy. I really like the look of the warrior. I think he looks very cool. His combat didn't look great, but he looks great. The combat for this, the, the rogue is it, looked really good. I was a huge fan of this. This is probably going to, if I play this, I mean, when I can play this, um, in a version I can understand maybe, um, this is the character I'll pick, 110%. And then you've got the, was this the priest? She had some pretty cool looking spells. Yeah, I think the characters are good. They're very... I don't use the word basic, but they're very um, MMO. Very what you would expect from MMO. Uh, what's this? Who knows? Is this the lore of the game? Okay, so this is like the uh, start of the world. Distant past when there's no life. The flame of Musselheim and the ice of Nippelheim <laughs> meet to create a thick rust. And in it, I'm not going to read that, a space of endless void is created. In Ginnun Gagaf, beings of chaos and fear, void creatures were born and they fight terrible battles with the original giants. They were the monsters that we saw climbing onto the boat. Birth of Odin. After that, the first god Odin is born from the mysterious ice. Odin, who wanted to create a new world, drove out the giants with overwhelming power and created a huge world. Cool. Oh, the youngest of them could not be thrown out and, adopt and adopted as an adopter and the giant would be later called Roki. Cool. Odin then creates all living things, including gods and humans, and spends peaceful days. However, after drinking the fountain of wisdom, he gains the ability to see the future and realizes the existence of Ragnarok, a prophecy of the end, and he learns that the predicted and begins with Rocky and exiles him to. I don't know whether this is bad translation to English, but some of it doesn't read quite right. Um, Loki abandoned. Curses everything in the world, including God, and pledges revenge using the magic of the gods infused with the power of giants. He awakens the void creatures sleeping deep in Gigungagaf and begins to invade each world. So there you go. That's the story of the game then. Odin is your boy. He's your god. He's your... He's your... Uh, he's, he's the good boy. And then Loki's the bad boy. He's gone and raised a bunch of... A bunch of shits and he's taken over all the other worlds with his big armies, big evil snakes... And that big eye dog. So, yeah, that's the story. I think he looks really good. I really like Loki and, like, most representations of Loki are really good. I 
think he's a very interesting character. He's normally a, he's normally presented a lot darker than what you see in like the Marvel films. So I think they've done a really good job here. He looks he looks badass, doesn't he? He looks like a mixture of like something from like uh, what's Dragon Age and um, was that Malevolent? Is it Malevolent? That, that big uh, the film with uh, Angelina Jolie in? But yeah, I think this is cool. Looks very very cool story. I mean, they're using Norse mythology. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Midgard, Jotunheim. So that's giants and rocks. Uh, the ice place is the dwarfs. Yeah, and they live in little caves. And then Alberheim. So this is this a translation issue? Jotunheim, Jotunheim. Yeah, I think there's a little translation issue. Because we know it's called Alfheim, not that. Continent full of forest. A continent of forest full of infinite vitality. Blessed by... Wigrid, Wigrid Sill, Owls. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tribe. Oh, yeah, here's, the, uh, here's the boy, Odin. Loki. Thor. Odin, Loki, Thor. No idea who that is. Tree Woman. Monsters. I'd love to see some actual gameplay footage. I really would. You know, humans, giant, door. We've seen those. Oh, we haven't seen the... Uh, we haven't seen the... The elf type, elves type people. They're pretty cool. I quite like the look of those, actually. I really like the look of those. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, and media. Yeah, we've seen all the media. If I was doing this video again, I would have just joined the Korean site and done it all from here. Because they've actually got everything on here. Um... Yeah, if you want to check the game out, I'll link this Korean website down below. I'm not even going to link the English one because it was pretty useless. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Odin Valhalla Rising. Is that the name of the game? I think it is. Odin Valhalla Rising, yeah. Um, I think it looks incredible graphically. Graphically stunning, story amazing. Um, a few reservations being that it's made for mobile. Um, and I'm just very nervous about cash shops in, with these kind of situations. Um, happy to pay for a game, happy to pay for a subscription, but don't give me a massive, expensive cash shop that I can get better if I spend a ton of money. Um, I mean, with graphics like this, there's going to be some sort of cosmetic sales for sure, and that's fine. I don't really care about that, um, but... We, we will have to wait and see. It sounds like it's coming out, the pre-registration event, I'm gonna look into this off, off recording. It sounds like that's gonna be um, just Korea, like you said, domestic. So that's just gonna be a Korean pre-register event. Uh, who knows when we will get our greasy little hands on a, a good version of it. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about it, guys. If you like this style of video, Drop a like. I always do these like medieval previews when I get a hint of a good game. Um, there's many more on the channel if you want to check them out. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.